But until that happens, there are actions I have the legal authority to take as President, the same kinds of actions taken by Democratic and Republican Presidents before me, that will help make our immigration system more fair and more just. It remains the first line used by almost every single opponent of the President's edict on immigration that he does not have the legal right to do what he did in violation of the Constitution. And we are awash in opinions from lawyers, sycophants, enemies, and trolls claiming theirs is the definitive answer, not hardly. Let us then talk to the learned man. Welcome to Midpoint, professor of law at the University of Pennsylvania, focusing on constitutional issues, author of The Myth of Judicial Activism, Kermit Roosevelt joins us. Kermit, thank you so much for being here. Thank you. I'm glad to be here. We have got to get some real answers here because here, Kermit, in my left hand, I hold a piece of news today and a story that says Obama's immigration plan is perfectly constitutional. Here in my right hand, I hold Republicans hammer legal case against Obama on immigration. If you were to put this into Google right now, you'd spend years trying to figure everything out. Okay, flat out, is what the president did in violation of the Constitution? Flat out, simple answer is no, it's not. Why? then are there people saying that it is? What are they misreading? Well, you know, to be honest, I think a lot of this is what you could call sort of Obama exceptionalism, which is there are things presidents have done in the past and doesn't encounter that much opposition, but for some reason, when Obama does it, people just sort of go nuts. But when they're using specifics though, the difference whether it's right or left, what are they then getting wrong? What are they then misquoting when they say that the president violated the Constitution? Sure. Well, so what they're saying here is that Obama is asserting the authority to disregard the law or to make law on his own or to go against the will of Congress. Um, and if he tried to do any of those things, there would be a constitutional problem. But if you look closely at what this program actually does, it's none of those things. So, you know, we've got a very large number of people illegally present in this country. We've got the resources that allow us to deport only a small number of those. And Obama is saying, here's who I'm going to try to deport, and here's who I'm not going to try to deport. And in fact, the priorities that he's set up are consistent with the policies that Congress has set out. So he's exercising discretion that he has to exercise, and he's doing so in a manner consistent with congressional will. It's really not that problematic at all. Now, when you talk about consistent with Congress, because that's some of the argument that we've heard about those who say that Reagan did it, Bush did it, some will fire back, that it is absolutely not anything like what they did because they were basically following the will of Congress. The note here that we hear is this is not what Congress wants to do. This is not a mandate that they sent to the president in the first place. So how are they getting that one wrong? Well, they didn't send a mandate to the president. And unfortunately, I think our audio just died out. Oh, wait a minute. We're going to see. Kermit, are you there? Is it here? Your audio, you still your audio is coming in and out. Try again. Okay. There so you go. You're back. Go ahead. They didn't give Obama a mandate to do exactly what he's done. The mandate he has is enforce the immigration laws in a situation where he can't enforce them against everyone. And Congress has made pretty clear its view that if there's someone who is lawfully entitled to be in the United States, it's not our first priority, certainly, and maybe we shouldn't do it at all. Break up that family by taking someone from that family and deporting them, even if they are eligible for deportation. So, you know, this is based... Ah. Kermit, the when they said we're not going to deport those people. Go ahead. It's, your audio's in and out. We only got about 60 seconds left here, so let me ask you this. With regard to those who's, who are using the Constitution as a base, is there anything that the opposition that they can use at this point from a constitutional level versus presidential powers that would allow them to basically stop the president? Anything at all? No, I really think there's not. I think this is well within his constitutional authority. And this would not hold up in any court of law then if anybody talked about lawsuits. They're all just frivolous. They're all just basically blowing hot air at that point. There you go. Okay, well, that, that pretty much gives us the answer. Hey, by the way, Kermit, I want to thank you very much for bringing at least some sanity to this because we need to find out. And, but trust me, I'm sure we're going to be back again because I have no doubt that we're going to be discussing the legalese of this for quite a long time to come. Kermit Roosevelt from Penn, thank you so much for joining us today.
Thank you. Happy to do it anytime. All right. And this comes then down again to what people are saying. If you then look at this, there are those who say that this does not violate the Constitution. The president has the enforcement authority under the Constitution and that the president, uh, the presidents uh, of the past predecessors, I was trying to say, have used this as well. So we're going to have to all take a breath here because we have heard this from a number of different people right now that they claim that this is a constitutional issue here, that he has gone against it. Perhaps the spirit of the Constitution is something else here that we're going to hear about now for weeks to come when it comes down to this case. But again, legally speaking, according to someone who follows constitutional law and specializes in it, the president did not violate the Constitution. The story goes round and round. Stay tuned. We're coming back right here on Midpoint.